I want to talk about this gentleman because I don't hear anybody talking about him in the vinyl community. And the reason for that is probably because he only had one album. It's over a decade old. And he is an amazing musician, an amazing songwriter, an amazing vocalist. I first found him on uh, a service called Much Music US, which is now morphed into the Fuse channel. Uh, <laughs> he's a Canadian artist who hit in 2001, I think it was, with his debut album. I saw the video for the first single on Much Music, and I'm like, wow, I need to find this. He has amazing elements um, of different artists in his voice and in his style. He does Blue-Eyed Soul with a funk edge. Um, he, it's what you might get if you took a blender <coughs> and decided to make a smoothie with Prince, Lenny Kravitz, Jamiroquai, and oh, one or two other artists in there, and throw in some old-school R&B from the 60s and 70s as well. Al Green, uh, Al Wilson, and then hit Puree. And what you come out with <coughs> is this incredible debut album from, from 2001 that is still his only full-length album because the sales were very disappointing, and he was a little disconcerted, I think, with it. And now... It has come out on vinyl, and it is a very difficult purchase to make. This is Remy Shand and The Way I Feel. I adore this album. I have played it to death for the past decade. Um, this is from Universal Music Canada. I had first ordered it from iMusic in Denmark, where I get a lot of imports. and I mean, I love them. They get stuff to me really quick, and they're decent prices. But they had to cancel it because the distributor was no longer selling it, so I rushed up to the, the Universal Music Canada and managed to get a hold of it. Um, it costs a pretty penny on vinyl, but you can still get the CD out there. Um, the single was Take a, um, Take a Message uh, was the first big single, and also the, the title track came out. But if you, if you are a Prince fan, if you are a Lenny Kravitz fan, um, you need to check Remy Shand out. This guy deserved way more credit than he got. He got great reviews for this album, and for some reason, it totally stiffed when it came out. Um, and, of course, he got no American press at all. He was best known in Canada. Now, I'm going to crack this thing open, because I just got this. I just picked this up out of the box this morning. Uh, it, it showed up yesterday. I didn't know it was there. I just knew I had a package over there. Um, it came out a week ago uh, on, on vinyl. And this is a colored vinyl edition. Uh, album one is red. And album two is supposed to be blue. I'm obviously going to need a... a I'm, gonna, I'm not going to undo the gatefold yet because I want to save that hype sticker. Uh, and of course, I'm going to have a Carlson moment again. Having trouble getting it back in the sleeve. Is there something in there? No. All right, well, we'll do that in a minute. Um, let me see. I don't think it comes with anything else. Um, the second album, sides three and four, are on blue vinyl. Now, you can get it on black vinyl for a few bucks cheaper, but the colored vinyl is very cool. And I just want to make sure. I don't think there's a download or anything. I cannot stress how much I love this guy. Um, and I think it's a shame, I think it's a travesty that he has only got stuck with one full-length album, and he's released a few tunes here and there on his own since then. They're very f hard to find. Um, at least I haven't had any success. Most of them were on CD or cassette. Um, and downloading is, is just, they're not there. You can't find them. Um... I want you to remember this guy's name, and I want you to look it up. This is important. He is an artist that could have been um, a major star, and for some reason, nobody got it. Remy Shan, The Way I Feel, this is the vinyl. You can get it from Universal Canada if they have any left. It is a limited edition, um, and... 
and you can see there's a little sticker right on the album or not sticker but a stamp I don't know if you can actually see it or not it's way here and it's not focusing but it's a, a stamp that's literally on the album that says made in Canada with a number on it um, if you don't know who Remy Shand is you have no idea what you're missing um, and I urge you to check him out the album is available on Spotify with extra tracks um, and I urge you to check him out because he is definitely somebody the vinyl community would like. Most of the people, I can think of a number of people that would love this album. Steve Carlson, I think, would like this album. Um, anybody who's into R&B from the 70s would like this album. Um, the man does amazing stuff, and I do urge you, to please check it out. Remy Shand is definitely an artist you should know.